I am Carolina. And I am Liat from Momjo. And today we are super excited. We are sitting with the naturopathic doctor and our new friend, Jody Larry. Hey, guys. Hey, <laughs> so we're so excited to have you here because we're heading into the summer. And one thing that we've always contended with is that addiction to sugar. Even though the weather is slowly getting warmer, we're still, you know, just getting into those cakes, getting into those that bagels. Ice cream. Yeah. And we all know that it's not the best thing out there. Yes, very true. So the reason we are doing this video today is to go straight to the expert right here and get the science behind why sugar is really so harmful for our bodies. So let's start with the first question, and that is, what is refined sugar? Really good question, guys. So most people are very confused. They think, you know, is sugar in fruit, and sugar is in everything. And the truth of the matter is, I define sugar, refined sugar, as four things. So the first is the obvious, the cake, the cookies, the chocolate, all that great. The things we love. Stuff. I know, don't kill the messenger. Um, the second is anything white. So unfortunately for you guys, um, you know, white cutout, white bagel, white bread is actually the same thing. It does the same thing physiologically hmm. to your body that cakes and cookies do as well. Same with pasta, white pasta? White pasta, okay. yes, all of it, anything white. The third thing is actually whole wheat, which really surprises a lot of people. What? So not, not whole grain, ah. but just straight up whole wheat bread, like brown bread. It's like thinking that brown sugar is healthier than white sugar. Brown sugar is no healthier, it's the same. And two pieces of whole wheat bread. Hold on. Well, actually, hold on, hold on, hold on. raise your blood sugar wow. more than two tablespoons of sugar. Like my breakfast every day. Yeah. So, um, the cookies, anything white, whole wheat, not whole grain, but whole wheat. And the fourth thing, which really blows people's minds, is table salt. The third ingredient in table salt is dextrose, which is sugar. What? So, anytime you're using table salt in your cooking, you're adding sugar. Chips, crackers, anytime you see salt, it's sugar. Don't get scared though, because there's a great alternative to table salt, which is sea salt. Oh, oh so they're different. They're we're different. Okay. okay. I always yes. thought they were the same thing. No. <laughs> sea salt. Sea salt is salt. Huh. But table salt, which ah. is the generic salt, which is in yeah. chips and cook, you know, a lot of different things. The third ingredient in that is dextrose. So when you're looking at your labels <sighs> and you see salt, and it's not sea salt or yeah. kosher salt, you have to think sugar. So those, when we're talking about refined sugar, we're talking about that broad. So can you just give us some examples of some good sugars yes. that we can eat? For sure. So that's the thing that people have to understand. I think a lot of people think that if they're gonna eliminate refined sugars, if they're eliminating the whole sweet flavor, that's mm -hmm. ridiculous. Mm -hmm. There are so many healthy things in nature that have a sweet flavor that you could start to eat instead of sugar. So fruit, for example, delicious. Um, I've been getting lately these dried mangoes from Costco. Mm, that are nice. really yes. handy, and the only ingredient is dried mango, but you have to be careful because some dried fruit will have other uh, things. This is yeah. pure, pure mango, it's candy to me. So pure maple syrup, 100% from the sap, mm -hmm. great. Um, unpasteurized local honey, mm -hmm. great way to, to sweeten up your food. And honey is actually antimicrobial. Honey is very good for digestion. It's mm -hmm. very good for your skin. It has prebiotic in it. So honey's a great way. So, you know, cut up an apple, drizzle on some honey. You can make even cookies with, you know, honey and almond flour. But the big message I want to teach is that it's not about never eating sweet. Right. It's about educating yourself to know how to cook things that are sweet to give you that, you know, what you need yeah. without it destroying your health. Such because an important refined distinction. sugar, yeah. really, guys, I wish it wasn't this way, but it's destroying health. Okay. Let's talk a little bit about those effects. Okay. So what does refined sugar do physiologically to our bodies? Okay. So I'm gonna actually demonstrate to you guys because it's much easier, I find, when I draw it out for you to really see visually um, the impact that sugar is having scientifically on your system. Mm -hmm. Right. Okay. So first and foremost, stress comes from two places, right? One is life, which is life. Inevitable. <laughs> yeah. Kids, um, finances, you know, if your parents ill, like all the normal stressors, which like I was saying is that, you know, before we put anything into our mouth, yeah. we're already har harming our bodies with mm -hmm. the amount of stress most of us live with. Right. Okay. Then there's food. And unfortunately for most people, there are two foods that physiologically stress the body out in the exact same way that life stress does. Hmm. And these foods are refined sugar as we defined it already and caffeine. 
Oh, caffeine. What? She said yes. the magic word. Yes. So, what happens when we eat these things? We have a set of glands called the adrenal glands. The adrenal glands are two circular shaped glands that sit in our back right by our kidneys. Mm -hmm. And they are our stress gland. They are what responds to stress in the system. So when we are stressed from life or from food, the adrenal glands release something called cortisol. Now cortisol in minute amounts is actually healthy for our system. It gets us going, it, it you know, gets us motivated, but none of us have minute amounts of cortisol. Mm -hmm. We have a lot of cortisol. And then if we're drinking lots of coffee or eating lots of sugar all day long, mm -hmm. then the cortisol is just going higher and higher and higher. Wow. And this is where it starts to impact our health. Because when cortisol is high, something called serotonin is low. And serotonin, you don't want low. Totally. Serotonin, you That's going to get us down, down, down the rabbit hole. Serotonin we need for four things, guys. We need it for mood. We need it for good energy. We need it for good sleep. And we also need it for impulse control. Mm. Hmm. So, wow. You want serotonin high. And what you have to remember is, the more cortisol, the less serotonin. Uh -huh. So the more coffee and sugar you're drinking, the lower your mood, right. the lower your energy, the worse your sleep, and the harder it is to change because serotonin also impacts your impulse control, which allows you to walk by those cookies and not eat them. Interesting. Yes. So you're basically like just done. If you're having <laughs> sugar, you're just, you're It's you're impacting your mood. Yeah. It's impacting your energy. So, you know, people often ask me, do you ever eat sugar, right? Yeah. And the truth is at this point in my life with a five and a half year old and a two and a half year old and a full time job and I work a lot, I, I don't want to. Mm -hmm. I, yes. I, what I know, from what I know, yeah. I need my serotonin high. I have enough cortisol already. Okay. So when cortisol is high, also inflammation of any kind is exacerbated. Inflammation meaning our skin, um, digestive issues, any aches and pains, arthritis, things like eczema and psoriasis, mm -hmm. those are all inflammatory in That's nature. And the more cortisol you have, the more your inflammation. Mm -hmm. wow. So another motivation to get rid of the foods at least. Like we can't control as much. Right, you can't right. get rid of your kids in no. the of the week. No. Right? You can't. But not the, in the plans. Not not right now. But food, which is doing the same thing, yeah. you can start to shift and change. And guys, it will it will change your life. Tell us a little bit about the immediate results of ditching sugar. Okay. Like short term results. What yeah. do you see? The first three to four days can actually be quite challenging. Mm -hmm. Sugar's a drug and it's a detox. There will be a detox. Wow. That's why most people can't get past hmm. the first few days, right? Day one, day two, their yeah. mind, they're craving, their headaches, they're like, ah, forget this. Um, but if you can get past those three, four days, what I see, you know, outstanding is energy improvements all around, mm -hmm. mood stabilization. Oh. Because when you eat sugar, your blood sugar is going up. And down right and then up and that affects your mood and energy up and down and up and down when you take that out your mood becomes stable oh i need that your big time yes okay. i think all moms need can you that. imagine we all need that guys like i don't want to roar anymore i just want like a stable relaxed mood i don't want those ups and downs those peaks and valleys yes. they're exhausted yes, yes. Okay. it's really quite dramatic what happens to sleep mood energy and then more so than that inflammatory condition yes so you know, people who take creams for their eczema and, and digestive issues. I had a client once who was about to go on Remicade for Crohn's. Mm -hmm. Wow. And she, her last resort was, was trying the cleanse program mm -hmm. and she did it and she's been doing it for a year, no Remicade. Amazing. She's wow. like 90% improvement. Wow. wow. Yeah, it, guys, it, it's, it's very, very dramatic what can happen when you feed your body with good food and really take out the stressors. That is really good, Jodie. We're empowered. We yeah. have the information. Oh my God, I'm like so, so empowered. To move forward and try to ditch sugar. Yes. We'll see if it works. Place your bets. <laughs> <laughs> so if you like this video and you found it informative, remember to subscribe to our channel, press the button so that you can keep up with all of the content that we're putting out. And of course, follow along our journeys, us at Finding Mom Jo and Dr. Jodie Larry at Dr. Jodie Larry. And if you have any questions or comments about the specific topic, please feel free to leave them below and we'll answer them to the best of our abilities. Thanks for joining us, Jody, and we will see you guys next time. Bye. Bye.